So, guys, Planet yes. Shaker's new album, yes. winning team, is getting finalised right here behind me. I'm putting all the so songs exciting. in the session and we're about to release this album. And we say it every year, but I do really believe this is our best yet. Would you agree? I do too. Like, I was listening to it um, just yesterday. It's just wow. the little process of going through and listening over and over and things like that. What does it sound like? It sounds awesome. Like it really is. And I think what Jotha's done is he's captured the feeling. Mm. And that's what we always want in an album. We want what we experienced at Planet Shakers Conference to be captured and then released so that other people can go, wow, the anointing, the presence of God. Is that what it was like in um, Planet Shakers Conference? It's true. And every year that I mix the album, I'm like trying obviously to get better technically. Well, I think you are. Thanks, You're doing great. (laughs) Thanks. But, you know, and a lot of mixing is opinions, right? It's like, I want to, Amy always comes to me and goes, I want to hear the snare drum louder. I'm like, okay, okay. (laughs) And that kick. Turn that up. Turn the kick up all the way. But so a lot of it's opinion, opinions, but then you like Pastor Sam said, you just got to go back to the feel of it. Mm. And I really tried to create that in this album. Like it just feels like you're there in the, in the auditorium at conference. So, you know, super loud crowd mics and I think it's good. I think I it's think come so. up with the most live album we've done. What What's your favourite track? Oh, favourite praise track. I actually love Resurrection of the Life. Really? The, it's it's yes. not probably my favourite song really of that one, but when it, the, the breakdown, yeah. why don't I just play something right no, now? No, you can. <laughs> because this is the master session, so it's like... Yeah. It's a vibe. It goes yeah, like this. yeah. So this bit here, which is a fun bit. So you can hear how loud. Live for live. I remember we were in the studio writing that, remember? And we we didn't have that point. We were up to that point. And then was looking through some samples and like it it could be fun to do a bit of a funky breakdown. And then we came up with that brass... Sample, and you guys like, yeah, do it. I'm like, no way. It does not fear the song. It's like it's such a different vibe. Yeah, but you both just forced me to do it. We won, and we overpowered you. And I'm so glad we did because it's it's such so much fun. What about you, Anne? What's your favorite one? Well, I haven't. To be honest, I haven't heard all. What's your favorite one? You you remember drumming to? My favorite memory, yeah, from conference when we were recording. I mean, send me. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a bonus track. Probably, yeah. isn't it? But that was such a powerful moment well, at conference. And for you and me, who who were the young kids singing that in that's 2001? Or I actually wasn't there. So well, I was the young kids singing. Your age a little bit more than me. <laughs> but I do have memories linked to that for sure. And I remember the the um, the album, the original one. Yeah. But either way, I mean, just being there in that in the room, it was so powerful. Such a tangible sense of the presence of God. And I think, I remember thinking like you just didn't want to rush it. You just wanted to let God do what he was doing in that moment. Yeah. I, from what I have heard, you definitely captured that. It feels like it's just yeah. you're sitting in this moment. Oh, you've got it there ready? What? Here it is. Wow. Look and, at you. And DJ what's crazy John. is because we were listening to the original version the other the other day, Pastor Sam and myself, to make sure we were singing the melody correct. <laughs> and it's so much faster, the original version. Yeah. It's like a Bray song almost, <laughs> the original. Yeah. But this is, yeah, it's great. Got a great touch on it. Oh, yeah. And awesome. there is a good story behind the writing of that song. And it was during um, Russell's preaching, actually, when we were at our youth group back in. Um, what year? Oh, so it wasn't that? during conference, was it? During the middle of the year or something? Yeah, uh. it was It was middle of the year. And we were, um, yeah, he was preaching and he was preaching this great message about send me. So I'm sitting there listening to him and I suddenly get this melody, send me, I will go, send me, I will go. And so I grabbed Henry and I said, Henry, quick, come here with your guitar and went um, to the like where the youth group auditorium was, there's the main auditorium behind it. And so we ran into the main auditorium and literally got this um, chorus down. Then at the end of Russell's preaching, got up, 
played it so and cool. sang it at the end and it. wowzers, it, mm. God just moved. He orchestrated that whole mm. uh, night, that whole experience and then, you know, to see a song come out of it like that that just empowers others to go, yeah, I, I put my hand up, Lord, send me. It was and that's what awesome. I love about our album at recorded at conference. We haven't, um, yes, we've got our planned song list, but, like, we didn't plan to do that song. That was literally... Yeah. Just in the moment, the Holy yeah. Spirit leading us there, and we did that. Yeah. And there's so many moments actually on this album like that where we've just captured what's happening at conference in its yeah. raw, live form. Mm, yeah, and that's what I I suppose I want to remind people that listen to our music and hear our albums. It's about our conference, and it's about a move of God and these experiences that we have with God. Mm. Yeah. And it's not about us producing music or just writing songs or, you know, being a band. It's about us having this um, passionate love relationship with Jesus and it spills out through the creation of these songs but then yeah. spills out to other people and bringing them in on the experience. That's maybe a good reminder for us. This is totally. what Planet Shakers music has always been about. Ames, I remember watching... You remember DVDs? Do you know what a DVD is? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so Planet Shakers used to all these DVDs, right? Yep. And you were like two or three years old. Yeah. And I remember my, one of my most favourite part of the DVDs was the special features. Yeah. Because I get to, as a, like a Planet Shakers fan, you I used to get to see behind the like scenes. Yeah. yeah. Did you care about that, Andrew? Oh, I don't think I knew how to access it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have DVD plays in your uh, Tasmania? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe but, not. But anyways, I remember watching, this must have been in 2001 or something, and I was watching the special features and you were like... So when Planet Shakers were doing Brisbane Conference, you were there, yeah. but you must have been like, what, how old are you, two or three? Probably. At that age. When we With born? a microphone. 99? 99. Yep. She was yeah, born. so you were two, two or three. And like you were at the feet of your mum as she was in soundcheck. Like I can still picture it. It's What's it been like growing up in the Planet Shakers music world for you being the daughter of Mrs. Planet Shakers? <laughs> well... <laughs> Being the daughter of Mrs. Planet Shakers. Well, maybe it's Queen Planet Shakers. And you call it, do you call it Sorry. Pastor Sam at home? Mm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's always, yes, Pastor Sam. <laughs> I think for me, growing up in all of this has been such an honour and a privilege. And sometimes, you know, you can take things for granted, but just being a part of this vision, it's not just a day-to-day -day thing, but it's it's a privilege. Yeah. And so growing up hearing all the songs leading up to now, I think we have the best songs we've had. Yeah. So like from year to year, it just goes from glory to glory, strength yeah. to strength. So yeah, just being a part of this is, mm. an, is an honour and the Lord has blessed our music, our sound, which is what Planet Shakers came out of a sound. A yep. sound of a praise, worship, totally. victory. Mm, yeah. And so God just continues to bless us each year. And it's just been amazing since being two years old to now. Mm -hmm. yeah. 18 years old I am. <laughs> hey, I <love> <laughs> and, not. and you've already got a kid. That's amazing. <laughs> no, but he's so good. To, it's been so good to watch you grow up. Mm, We're so proud yeah, of you. Thank like you've, you. You're, you're amazing. And bringing your plastic now. microphone to rehearsals. And yep. one that has the springs in it and go, <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. I just have one of them. Yes. Fisher and Parkle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Andy, what's the favourite song to drum to? Um, I think probably um, Winning Team. Yep. It's just it's lots so, of different parts. So interesting fun. parts. Yeah, that little, the bridge section like that. Well, for those who don't know, it, it's, it's the rest of the song straight time and then it swings in the. In yeah, the, like a big band section almost, yep. big college marching, band, marching yeah. band. I mean, I wish we had all of those elements in it, but it's um, it's so fun. Yeah. And I was just thinking actually as well, like the amazing thing about recording these at conferences, these songs have been written out of what God is doing in church throughout yeah. the year or some of them. And so, you know, that is all about the the theme of victory because that's what Pastor Russell had declared, you yeah. know, the last year, I mean, every year, but last year was such a, a theme of living in victory. And um, yeah, so this this song, Being in the Winning Team, mm. um, came out of that. And think of like, that's been such a declaration every week for us in church. Then when you get to conference and mm -hmm. it's like this big corporate gathering, you know, mm -hmm. we're all yeah. declaring that together. Yeah. So powerful, but yeah. So much fun as well. I, there's quite a few moments in that song I ended up just standing up, I'm pretty sure, and like yeah. <laughs> smiling. I played a lot of that song with a big smile on my face because that's what we're declaring. 
Well, yeah. you've done a great job with these songs because they're so full of joy. Yeah. And it just reminds me that that's exactly what praise needs to be yeah. about. Yes, yeah. we have moments where we're pushing through in praise and, you know, like we're praising him in the valley and that. But the it's Bible talks a lot about us mm. singing joyfully, making a yeah. joyful noise to the Lord, singing with joy. And these praise songs are some of the most joyful praise songs ever. Mm. Did Amen. you have a big smile on your face I, when you were writing them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't write all of them. We, we were all involved. But, but the, 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 the most fun ones you wrote. And, oh, yeah. thanks, and I think they're... Your strongest praise songs. Thank you. Since Turn It Up. God. Well, Josh Ham, like co-writing that with him. Yeah. And what's fun about writing things with him is you start <laughs> you start with one idea, you end up with something that sounds yeah. pretty different. <laughs> There's never that's, a box. His, that's his strength. <laughs> yes. And that also I think brings an element of joy because it's not just fitting inside a box. It's yep. like, what if we yeah. did this though? Yeah, and, yeah because um, winning team has a key change in it and we didn't have done a praise song key change. But that's forever. the moment, isn't it? Don't you remember? That's such a moment every time we do it. It is. Yeah, to go from straight to swung, has brass, it has a key change. Like that is pushing the boundaries in terms of a praise song. It that's is but awesome. It, but it's not hard. And I think that I remember the first time we actually did it on a Sunday. Yeah. I remember talking to you about yeah. it straight after it's yeah. faster Sam. But I remember thinking like, yes, there's track elements in it, but it's not a it's actually still not complicated. It's no. not yeah. hard. It, it feels like it carries itself. And the yeah. declaration that I think it's the verse yeah. three, the, yeah. um, you know, talk, really talking about when Jesus died and was yes. buried yeah. and then yeah. resurrected. And that's why, that's why we've always got a reason for joy. Like that's yeah. what yes. it all comes down to. Hearing the church declaring that mm. together, yeah. you know, that's, that's that, so powerful. We are big on mm. that as, as, as songwriters in Planet mm-hmm. Shakers, making our songs simple enough for people to sing from all walks of life. Yes. Even, you know, we have a lot of, we've got a very international multicultural church. Mm. Not everyone can speak great yes. English, but we want to make these songs so I know simple. I can't. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> that anybody can, you know, encounter God with these songs. Yes. And we want to keep pushing the boundaries with our style and our yeah. production and all that sort of stuff. But I, I agree with you. Our songs, at the core of what they are, they're not actually that hard. And totally. what yeah. makes them maybe perceived hard or complex is the track elements, you know. Mm. Yeah. But, but the actual, what you play on the instrument is pretty straightforward. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes Josh Ham does a few little tasty <laughs> licks on the bass that no one else can do, but hey. Yeah. What else do we have to tell what everyone about, about? What's your favourite worship <laughs> song to lead yeah, a pastor? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, my goodness. That's a really hard question because. They all carry different things, don't they? They do, but I think, I think I know the all answer. of the worship <laughs> songs, like all of them, are so so. Amazing. Okay, so tell me, like in one <laughs> or two sentences, <laughs> oh, wow. it, it, per song other that I yes, say, what is yes. the you know thing that you feel in the atmosphere or whatever? Wash over me. Oh, his love. Oh, his presence. It's oh. It's amazing. Like I'm not coming up with very good words. I'm just imagining like my experience in every time I say wash over me. And Yeah. Oh. Very, very easy to catch on. That. The pre-chorus yeah. though. The atmosphere changes to. the moment oh, you enter the room. Yes. My heart's desire is doing counting. Mm. I remember because I wrote that song so in here much. and I remember sitting at the keyboard when I wrote the bridge um, even yeah. in the driest place, yeah. your presence, because it's all about the presence of God refreshing yes. us, right? Even in the driest place, your presence, like the summer rain, my heart, you know, my soul comes alive yeah, again. again. My heart is full to dream again. Yes. I remember crying when I was, I was sitting at the piano writing this because I'm like, this yeah. is just, it's it's all what we believe and have experienced in Planet Shakers yeah. conferences, being yeah. in his presence. Mm. If we feel our soul come alive again and yes. we feel like we can dream and, yeah. and do something great for God. And I just totally. could just sense a strong touch on that when, yeah. when totally. that was being written. So powerful. And when we did go back, you know, when we were in conference, every time we would, you know, sort of complete the song, but then go back into that um, pre-chorus. pre-chorus. Yeah. It, it was almost like, oh, my goodness, Jesus has just stepped in the room. Mm. I mean, mm. he's, of course he's there, but yep. it, it became so quiet and so reverent as we just would think about that and go, mm. oh, this is what it's like when he just steps into an environment. If he steps into your world, bam, everything's changed. Yeah. You might yeah. have been depressed. You're not depressed anymore. You're <laughs> totally. full of joy. So I, I feel like that was such a powerful song. See, I, I can't choose one. And that was more than two sentences. But oh, yes, I, but I helped was, with that. Sorry. What about um, <laughs> Overflow of Worship? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, what what, what can goodie. I say? Like my heart is overflow. overflowing of worship. Like when I when we look at the um, visuals that go with the song, 
uh, there's like, I don't know why. I mean, it looks so disgusting, but you know, I'm there and my head is looking upright the whole time. I mean, I'm thinking, how can I even sing at this moment? Sorry. You know, my microphone's up in the air like this and I'm like, ah. Nice it's, neck. Yes. <laughs> but that's sort of like the posture because it's. Yeah, I agree. It's like, mm. oh, I'm just overflowing with this worship. But then what I love about worship is the exchange. Yeah. 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 We worship, he fills us. We worship, he fills us more anyway. And at the end, is his big free worship moment. Oh, yes. Ooh, see, I didn't know this stuff. You're getting the first juicy, juicy. first peak yes. now. Wow. So, which people are going to love. And then yes. it actually flows straight out of this. Because we wrote this tag, we want more, we want more. Fill us again, fill us again. And we did it throughout conference on the end of all different worship songs. So it was all in all different keys. But yeah. one of the takes was in that key. So it flows straight out of that. So good. Into. So the moment just continues. Mm. It's going to be great. And then the instrumental of this is great, don't you think, And And this is where you yeah, probably. I love this. This might be where you stood up and oh, you well, um, were just hitting the cymbals, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two, three. Quite a releasing moment, actually, to not have to do anything else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give your shins a break. <laughs> what about so good. Um, Spirit of God? Well, that it's was powerful just one. powerful. But um, what I love about that song is that it it keeps go- getting stronger and yeah. stronger. Yeah. Totally. You know, it's like it starts off um, in beautiful worship, but then, you know, getting to these declarations yep. and, yeah. oh, yeah, I just love it. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not really saying that very was, much. That was that was <laughs> so powerful when we did that in in its early stages in church. Yeah. It's like, totally. wow, the atmosphere is crazy. Yeah, the greatest name. Yeah, that, again, the declaration of that. Yeah, I Just feel it's so Jesus triumphant. Yeah. yeah, so simple. It's, he is the greatest name. So I feel like anytime I need a breakthrough. I'm going to sing that song. If yeah. I need a breakthrough mm. in an atmosphere, totally. I'm going to declare how yeah. powerful the yeah. name of Jesus is. He's the greatest name. Mm. And that's what I feel like that song does every single time. Yeah. It it shifts an atmosphere. Yeah. So I think as people listen Very and powerful. people um, sing along, they're going to find that same breakthrough. Yeah, and I think mm. with the production and the songwriting of it, I tried to keep just exalting it to another level, to another level. So that's why there's two key changes Whoa. in this one, mm-hmm. which is crazy. It goes from F to G to A. So by the time you're in A, you're singing pretty high, but then you only sing a chorus and then you finish the song. So it's okay. <laughs> um, what about You Have My Heart? Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, that's the bridge. nice. I love the bridge. And I, I mean, I love the, the whole thing. We've done a lot of more halftime grooves on this. We have. <laughs> two, which feels two nice. Songs. It feels really, feels really nice. That whole song, actually, I really love playing that, going back into the second verse. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if you're asking Pastor Sam this, but no, I please. launched into it. I don't have many me. words to say about from awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really love, I actually really love playing that one. It's yeah. fun. But I love when it goes into the bridge, which, again, mm. swings. Yeah, changes it up. Changes the the feel of it slightly going to the bridge. But I just love the declaration of yeah. That bridge is so powerful. Morning into dancing. Mm, yeah. yeah. You turn and the, the page because it's not over. The yeah. joy that came. Shifts the atmosphere yeah. every time. Yeah. Like, that's what I love too. You know, you're in this intimate worship moment and then in worship, the joy is coming. It's not just reserved for praise. Yeah. No, you totally. know, and so as people were singing that yeah. and seeing the smiles on their faces yeah. and just that freedom that came in a in a worship chorus. And we say it all the time, but the, all these words in our songs are literally straight out of the Bible. Yeah. We put our own poetic spin, you know, to try to say it in a fresh way, but it's literally yeah. the power of God yeah. in these lyrics. And so, yeah. of course, the atmosphere is going to change when we sing them, right? It's, yeah. We, yeah. it's just powerful. Yeah. And then, yeah, then it goes into Send Me at the end of the album. Yes. So that's awesome. so the album finishes with that. So and it's actually really cool because in that end of that moment of Send Me, Pastor Russell's on stage and he says this. Lord, that's our prayer and it's always been our prayer. Yes. We will go. We will say yes. Yes. To your call. Totally. So that's how the album finishes. That's cool. That's Which it. is yeah. great. And then, you know, just that moment as well, you know, as we're talking about remembering, remembering yeah. God and all his faithfulness to mm. 
even, you know, remember a song that we wrote mm. years ago yeah. um, when God moved. Um, that I thought that was really, really great to bring us back to, come on, remind yourself how good God mm. is. Yeah. So yeah. that was powerful. Amen. So, yeah. Amen. Get the album. What a it'll great bless album. You. Yep. And it will. Yeah, it'll encourage you to really encounter God and provide great uh, soundtracks for you to encounter God with. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually talking to Rachel Moffat about this morning. It's like we we don't um, just make these songs for listening songs. No. We yeah. literally make these songs for people to encounter yeah. God with. Yes. And so sometimes if you critique it in a way that's like comparing it to other music, it sometimes it's just in its own space. Mm. But if you view it like this is just, fuel and ammo for me to encounter God, yeah. Yeah. it's quite powerful. Totally. Yeah, it's quite powerful, so. actually. And for your church as well, like yeah. playing these, then to resource the body of Christ, to yeah. see yeah. those encounters multiply over and again and yeah. again and again in churches mm. all totally. over. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, be blessed, everybody. Be blessed. Be, blessed. be the most Love blessed. Us. Glory we were blessed. to God. <laughs> yes, amen. <laughs>